Hey guys, and welcome to Fat Chat. Sorry the uh, stream quality is not quite as high as we usually did. We had a fun problem with our camera about, what, two minutes before before we were going to go live where yep. we actually broke a piece of the cable off in our camera. Oh. <laughs> so we scrambled really quick. We ripped it out. Um, there will be a nice high quality uh, video of the same podcast going up Friday. So if you're like, I can't stand this, which means you're, I don't know, being a little picky. But either way, you can go Friday to, <laughs> you can go Friday to the YouTube and you can check it out there. Or you can just hang out with us now because it'll be a lot of fun. Um, to my left, we've got Josh, like always. What's going on? What's up, baby? How you doing? Doing great. I like your shirt. Thank you. I, I'm going to always tell you I like your shirt, regardless of what shirt you're wearing. This, this, is, shirt. Accurate. You this should, is accurate. Uh, you should always just now start wearing the most absurd shirts because I'm just going to tell you I like it regardless. Don't have absurd shirts. I'm going to buy you like a My Little Pony shirt. I would Ooh, never perfect. wear that. I, I honestly no. Now wear you that. have to wear Come that. On. Now you have to. Come on. Even if it was a gift on my birthday and it was the last thing I ever received, Horseshit. Would not be worn. You I have to. I think he would wear it. Josh, you're a good man, and you would wear it. Mm, no. Nah, you I, would. I couldn't wear it. We'll try it. We'll I try won't it. wear it. Somebody <laughs> out there. Somebody out there. Goddess Dancer, thanks for joining us. Tell him he needs to wear my little pony shirt because it would be hilarious. Well, you are a brony, man. Just yeah. tell the truth, uh, dude. Just be real with us. Comes Break out. it down. This table is not he just long flips. enough. I think this. we just need to kill Josh. He just flips the table. So. <laughs> All Let right. us know what you think. Should I die on tonight's podcast? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we've got um, James over here. How's it going? Hi, everyone. James. Yes, sir. How old is that hat? This hat I got made for myself. Uh, it was one of the first things I did when I got out of the army in 2009. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So Pretty old hat. Seven years. Yeah, I know it. Now? It's old. I'm does like, it smell seven it, years old? It, no, definitely not, because I wash it every six months. It doesn't look seven years old, because no, you wear that hat I get, every time I see you. Correct, sir. I get a toothbrush and Tide, and I wash it in the sink every six months. Cool. Nice. Very cool. I should probably do that to some of my hats. <laughs> yeah, yours, yours looks like it's got a little funk going it's on It's getting there, so... Yeah. All right. And then to my direct right here, he hasn't been on screen, but he's here every Monday doing the podcast with us. This is Peter. How's it going, Peter? It's my first day. It's your first day? Mm -hmm. You're brand new? Also brand known new. as the Wizard of Law. Yeah. New guy. So for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Peter and I actually started doing this podcast. Oh, my God. That was loud as shit. Don't judge me. That scared me. Okay. Uh, Peter and I started doing this podcast... Um, 37 weeks 37 ago. 37 weeks ago. Uh, and it was just audio, and it was just him and I sitting around like schmucks using not nearly as nice of equipment, which we ended up selling because it didn't fucking work. It was so like this, a, well, this is close to my 30th podcast. Yeah, you've been here. Okay, we so no we have no audio. You guys yeah, Zach, Zach just hit me up on Facebook Messenger and said we have no audio. Uh, hey, type in six. Type okay. in that we'll get our audio fixed yeah, yeah, in just it's, a second. It's going to be going up, guys. Savages. Okay, so apparently everything, everything fucking broke. See, where's your wife when we need It's okay. We're going to get it. Sorry. We're going to get it. All right. No, it's fine. Either way, so Peter, who's not here anymore, he's uh, <laughs> funny. told them about audio. Should, Should be fixed. Good job, Zach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Take care of business. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and filibuster a little bit before we get to the news. Let's talk about what we just did. Okay, so... What did we just do? We just played the werewolf. Game. It was fun. So it was, was very fun, much fun. Right? It was we the killed. first time I ever felt like James legitimately wanted to kill me because the dead eye look he gives me, he's like, I think we should kill Josh. I didn't mean to be like so yeah about it. I'm sorry. No, it's because you were for sure I was a werewolf. Well, I well, but the truth, da -da -da. but Josh, the truth I, is I, the truth. Well, yeah, you were the werewolf. But you didn't know, and that's, that's the correct. Part. Well, the thing and is, I didn't even know I was the werewolf. That's either. true, but the point is, Josh, that I just want to kill you. That's fine. <laughs> it's so good. I can't, I can't even hold that face. <laughs> it might be even illegal to say that I want to kill James. <gasps> is it because he's running? Hypothetically, for hypothetically, I'm, I'm hypothetically. As if you know, this is what you shouldn't say. You should. If this say, card in my hand is the king James. of clubs, Josh dies. <gasps> that was your card. I did some wizard stuff. You did. He did a magic trick, and it was in my chair, and it was really sweet. It's pretty cool because he thought my other magic trick wasn't cool. It's because so. it was shitty. <laughs> you stepped up the. So I stepped step, it up a little bit. Stepped up the magic a little bit. There wasn't a camera for me to like stare into. Like wizard, <laughs> <laughs> definitely worked out. You're basically just Doctor Strange. Yeah. Uh, no, Doctor Strange is a mystic. He's not a wizard. He's a sorcerer. He's well, a badass sorcerer. Indeed. He's the sorcerer supreme. He is the sorcerer supreme. It's true. Have you seen the trailers for the new movies? He looks pretty yeah. good. Dude, Cumberbatch, man. Is he is amazing. 
I am off correctly. Yeah, I love Cumberbatch. He's such a great yeah, guy. Yeah, Oh, why? Thank you. Thank you, Goddess Dancer. Thank you. Oh, the beards. I try to keep mine. The beards. All right. I wash it in the blood of my enemies. I wash mine in the blood of his. Um, have to wash. But the uh, the newest Marvel run that ended, that led up to the Infinite War was so good because like Doctor Strange just like so everyone else is like trying to figure out how to do this shit and he's like I'm gonna go solve this problem and then he doesn't solve the problem and then Doom's like I'm gonna fucking solve this problem and Doom does it he and makes uh, Doom World doesn't he yeah Doom Which fucking is, my, that sounds like the name of my perfect concert yeah Doom World so well, Doom is way, evil I hate Doom he uses he uses um, Doctor Strange he teams up with Doctor Strange and then they use the Molecule Man where they actually summon the Celestials, basically the most... What's up? Who the hell is a Molecule Man? He's like... Dr. Manhattan, kind of. Yeah, he, he basically can oh. just... So, uh, surrounding him, he can basically just control like the molecules uh, around matter. his space. Matter around him. So he can basically create his own worlds and stuff, but only in a very small bubble. Okay. Um, and so, okay, there's going to be a... Spoiler here. So if you don't want to watch Infinite Wars, just like mute it for like 30 seconds. Okay. Either way. So, they... They basically go find the Celestials, who are like the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe. They're basically the gods. I remember the Celestials, yeah. And then Doom is like, fuck you guys. So he uses the Molecule Man to fucking blow them up, steals their powers, and becomes God himself. And then creates his own universe. Man, fuck Doom. You know, no, that a sounds badass. a lot like uh, the D&D campaign that I just wrote. Well, I won't talk about it now, but maybe uh, maybe on our Patreon video. I can talk maybe. maybe. On the Patreon you can So do does that mean we are good to go? On audio, yeah, everything's good. everything's good. It was recording so, the first. Oh, we got place. a we got a hello. What's yeah. up? It's <gasps> hey, someone's hosting us. I don't know what that means, but it means that they're, they're replaying yeah. our feed through their feed. Goddess dancer, you're amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So okay, it was recording the whole time, so the replay will have the audio. The full audio. Like I said, Excellent. I filibustered. I, I was he did. Like, he did we're good. We're gonna get through this. Okay. So now that we're live and you Where guys can we? hear us again, <laughs> introduce. This is <laughs> Fat Chat Thirty Seven. This is Josh. Hey. This is James. Ha! This is Peter. What's up? I'm your host, Brandon. Boom. We powered through that really quick. Because I don't want to pee, a man. You gotta make you gotta make a buzz noise. Buzz. Not like actually, <laughs> not literally. You gotta make it's like a buzzword, but it's a noise. Like Zach says, hui. Hui. His is like huh. I can't remember. Mine's Zach's like Hwee! No, no, no. no. Zach's jo- uh, Zach always goes chuh, chuh, That's chuh. Right. Yeah. Mine yeah. goes Hwee! And yours is now gonna be buzz. Yeah, buzz. Sure. He's like okay. a bug. No, it just <laughs> sounds like what accidentally turns on when you open your Sorry. tarp drawer. Thanks for Ooh. following. Oh, <laughs> oh God. We got Mine? Right. So, what did you know? So, Wait, oh, we have we, we have some news of the week, you guys. There there was a lot of like nerd pop culture news. Yeah. There wasn't a ton of video game news. Comic Con, man. Uh, Comic Con was happening. Have you yeah. seen the trailers? Like a hundred thousand of them, two hundred thousand yeah. times each. Yeah, exactly. yeah, for real. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, this, Although, th- this was me at Justice League trailer. It I was it because Aquaman did more than talk to fish. Well, yeah, but I'm also a really, really big fan of Jason Momoa, and I'm really happy to see him in this role because ever since I saw him in Stargate Atlantis, I'm gonna yep. admit, a little bit of a man crush. And now that he's gonna be playing Arthur, that's fantastic. I saw him in Conan, right? Because, well, no, I have that is the only thing I haven't seen him in because I heard how bad it was, so what? I didn't check it out. Don't listen to other people's opinions. Be your own man. Yeah. Gee, thank Stand you. Stand up. <laughs> Thanks, Plato. Why don't you put your put your face out the window and says, "I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore." I don't know what else says. If you want, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Trying to have a speech, but I, I failed it. If but. you want to be a Bernie, be a Bernie. Says Josh. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> be the man you want to be. That's right. All right. Anyways, it I looks am, badass. I am going to kill the mood real quick, you guys, <gasps> and we're going to talk about something pretty pretty serious, something that's real that happened in the news. Oh, okay. So we're going to take a second. Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. 30-year-old pro skier uh, yes. Matilda Rapidor died while filming, um, while doing a shoot for Ubisoft's new game, Steep. Yes. Um, condolences to her whole family. Everything that we do here, you guys, is about video games. So anybody who, you know, was out there doing that, she was a really great skier. She was just definitely a professional. She got caught in an avalanche, was rushed to the hospital, but sadly did pass. So I just want to take a second to say, you know, from all of us here, anybody out there who didn't know about it, definitely go, you know, wish your family, you know, the best you can. And uh, I don't know. It's just, it's it's a tragedy for sure. It sucks. And fuck the internet it was disgusting about that. They, they the internet's really were. never good about anything. It was. It's the internet, man. It's, yeah, but it's, it, you know, there's 
there's but have some fucking class, people. Exactly. Yeah. Have class. Have some respect, dude. People were grieving over this. Yeah. yeah. Not only is her family grieving over it, her friends and and the people that she was working with at Ubisoft, and I know that they are grieving for. Now it. they no. were super top notch about the whole thing. I mean, her sponsor Ubisoft. was uh, Red Bull as well. Ubisoft. Everybody basically who was involved in yep. it was you know very sad about it and they basically did everything they can in their power to try and make it right it wasn't necessarily anybody's specific fault because once again she was caught in an avalanche it was a uh, you know a natural event of that course she got caught in that ended it but um like he said the the internet was just absolutely just horrid about the whole thing which is really sad like we shouldn't like it, it's super unfortunate that this happens and then to add like that insult to yes. that is just is absolutely terrible. So if you guys are watching, like just please treat this like situation with class. Somebody did pass, even though you might not know who they are, you might not care about the game, you might not even care about the developer or anything like that. That's fine. But just remember like somebody's life is now gone. Their friends, their family, all these people are gonna be affected by this for the rest of their lives. So please just just act with some class. For sure. Well done. Well said. Well said. Okay, now we're going to get back. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have to break out of that mold a little bit. Damn. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had to start it off with that. I felt it was something no, no, we, no. we needed to talk Great thing about. thing to do. You know, we needed to, uh, we needed to address. But um, Microsoft has announced that they're making some changes to their service agreement. And what are those? The big one those? is if you don't sign into your Xbox account every few years, you lose your gamer tag. Uh-oh. Good. Can I sign in online? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. So you can sign in. They've basically every said that five years. It's every five years, so it's a good chunk of time. Still too much. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. <laughs> you only need to sign in once every five years, somehow. So you can go on your computer and just sign into your profile. You can go on your Xbox. You can sign in there. You can go really smart glass on your phone. You exactly. Yeah. Raven Sandwich. Thanks for hanging out. She was hit by an avalanche, and yeah. So it wasn't a. She wasn't. It was the oxygen loss that actually, so she was caught in the avalanche and that's what it did. It was the oxygen loss while she was trapped. So, um, but with this Microsoft thing, so yeah, they've done it twice before, once earlier this year where they released a whole new, uh, I think it was like a million gamer tags that had previously been unused. And then they did it once before in 2011. I remember that. Yeah. So this is now, instead of just saying, we're going to just randomly do it whenever. And now it's like basically set there if you don't log in for five years your shit's done you're not playing anymore we're giving it to somebody else so, so. Fucking do that. I'm, just, I'm just waiting for the day that i can finally be i smoke weed for 26969 get wrecked 420 right Boom. <laughs> xx <laughs> xo xo xx smoke them i seriously hate those fucking gamer tags <laughs> dude so many every time you play anything how, yes. so how many times do you get in a multiplayer match whether it be call of duty battlefield you always run into some guy who has like taco in some form in his game. yeah always. <laughs> yeah it's like taco supreme ninja <laughs> XX Taco XX3. I'm like, I appreciate the taco. I like, taco. but you get like Taco right. Weed Smoker 420 Ninja XX Supreme Killer No Soap 360. Shot him. Although that was fucking brutal. Yeah. Although right? everybody <laughs> always thinks, okay, so my gamer tag for everything, like my Twitter handle, it's everything your, I do is, is B Kling 520. But everyone automatically they're like. Oh, it's 520, like a spin on 420? I'm like, no, it's my area code, asshole. Yeah, I live in Tucson, I, dick. I really didn't get creative at all. I was like, first initial, <laughs> last name, area code. Suck it. And that's my shit for everything now. That's what I name almost I everything. Got, uh, I, I got two. I got Bog the Smelly and Emperor Josh. That's it. I really yeah. like Bog the Smelly. I really like that it a lot. was my first D&D character. Uh, I had him for one one game, one game session, uh-huh. not one campaign. <laughs> he was first level dwarf and was killed by a pig. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, very page. nice. Yeah. Did you and try and write it? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't lie to me. It's like, this is a dire boar. I'm like, and I'm a dire dwarf. I'm going to try yeah. to write it. I've played I D&D. Failed my grapple check. I know exactly how I'm doing this. <laughs> Eviscerated me. That's right. Um, but yeah, I'm with you. I wish Sony would step up their game. And Okay, let's say. So Microsoft's kicking people out and people at Sony are lining up like with money in their hands. Like, yeah. Let's change it. Sony's like, we'll give you money just to let us change it to something yeah, right? that's not being used. We'll come up with a new one. Yeah. You don't even need to get rid of old ones. We will pay you money to just let me change it. And they're like, no. no. <laughs> but don't do. Do you really want to be something other than the Wasm system? No, but I know there's lots of people that do. Fair enough. There's plenty of people who are out there. Because like, you know, so maybe you created it when you were like. 12. Yeah, and so maybe, some you nutty are, ones. maybe you are like 420, smoke them up, and then you're like, okay, I'm an adult. I'm now. 35. I'd, I like to, to I'd like to have one that just says Jim. <laughs> you know? I did originally have to change it because my regular email address when I first signed up to the PlayStation Network was uh, in Australia, so I had an Australian Sony account. Oh, yeah. Which does have its privileges now, but 
when I moved here, I tried to sign in. I couldn't buy anything because I had an Australian one. You can't use an Australian credit card. You can't use a U.S. credit card. Is it like outrageously priced too, the game? Yeah. Yeah. That too. So I went to play here. So obviously I tried to move my account over and found out that's not a thing. So I had to make a whole new account. Couldn't even use the old email address. Now I get emails. My PlayStation is tied to my old Apple email address. Oh, damn. That was the one I had. What, uh, what, what does a AAA title cost in Australia? Uh, in US? Bucks. What? 100 bucks Australian. So How much is that out here? It depends. It varies like Ish. between 80 and 90. Oh, wow. Sometimes more. Yep. Wow. Apparently, even up in Canada, they're about 100 bucks. That I did know. Yeah, yeah. So even like, I mean, so you think like right now, you know, Australia it makes a little bit more sense because everything gets developed here. You know, or Japan. So everything to get to Australia literally has to get flown there. Yep. It's not that expensive. What's or that? shipped. I buy stuff on Amazon. It's not that expensive. I get it. But you but you get what I'm saying. Like, it actually has to be transported there. Canada is, like, right there. Yeah, it's, there's no reason for that. So you get close to death to just fucking throw it just, there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So it's really Thank weird. You. How much is a loony worth, though? Like, See you later, Goddess Dancer. It's weird. So, yeah, there's a... Uh, and then collector's editions are the st- same markup. It's just absurd. It's like... I'm a, saying if he wants Canadian money, like, they charge him extra. <laughs> I hear it's <laughs> funny like colors. Maple syrup and yeah. cures cancer. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> just shut up. It's such a magical land up there. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to hunt mooses. X they, Raven Sandwich says, this is my game attack. It was a joke and $10 taken too far. <laughs> <laughs> Rave Sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That does sound like a pretty colorful sandwich, I will say. Indeed. Indeed yeah. it does. Whiskey Kilo did say earlier that just because we're gamers doesn't mean we're creative. It's but true. Pretty true. 100% true. That's pretty Although true. Although I have seen some good gamer tags throughout the years. One that has stuck with me always, and I, I think I will never forget this gamer tag because it just made me laugh so hard, was Jews Heart Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I was... I was just like, I don't like, I don't, you were killed by Jews love Christmas. I don't even know how to feel about, I just like, I was in the middle of a shooter and it like killed me. And I was like, you were killed by Jews heart Christmas. I was like, I'm not even mad because now I got to see this gamer tag. I swear to God, it's gonna stick with me for the rest of my life. Man, dude, bro. Man, Man, dude, dude, bro. bro. Nice. 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 I can't recall any other gamer tag I've ever seen. Yeah. No, like I said, that one will stick with me for the rest of my life. So, um, next bit of info is actually one I'm excited about. I know Peter's going to scoff at it because it's a remake. He likes so, scoffing. Yeah, he, he does like, like to scoff. He likes to scoff. So Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 exactly. will be re-released tomorrow on all next-gen consoles. Cool. Dude, which one are you guys going to buy it? This guy right fucking here gonna is going to buy it. Buy it. Wait, is it, uh, is it a remaster? It's a remaster. Or a port over? So... Yeah, oh, that just sounds so, like a port. It's a port of a PS2 game. Oh, well then fuck No, that. they were... No, they, they were on 360, 360 and PS3. 360 and PS3. Yeah. It was ported to PS3 and 360. It was a PS2 game. One was, one, two was not. Yeah. Was PS2 as well? No, no was sir. Not. No, were, sir. You were wrong. I mean, because like even on the 360, they weren't like well put together, but they were fun. They did they were say, good games. The yeah. second one was phenomenal. They did say we really Civil War. We okay. Sorry, Literally. Mike, executive producer Mike Jones said we really wanted the re-releases to be faithful to the original Ultimate Alliance games as possible. However, the team did work really hard on improving performance, some UI and graphic enhancements. Okay, PlayStation Two and Wii. Okay, you know what else came so out on the like PS Two? Fast remaster. You know what else came out on the PS Two? FIFA Thirteen. Okay, is that a PS2 game? No, okay. it's a you know goddamn. Get out of the PS2. Like, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, that game's gonna be sweet. It's just yeah. going downhill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Crash Bandicoot. No. Get out of here, You're both so guys. Fuck. God, nobody wants that stupid, crazy thing around anymore. Except for and the- no one wanted to remake a Conqueror's Bad Friday, but they fucking did it anyways. Yeah, who bought that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was shitty like bad because I thought it was going to be good and I was wrong yeah. <laughs> Bob the smelly was wrong honestly for me the biggest thing this tells me at least I hope is that this is the start of a new Ultimate Alliance franchise Ooh. if we see Ultimate Alliance well that might three, be cool that would be cool that shit would be fucking awesome. I might be okay with like, that. Because what I loved the most about that game was the alternate costumes. Yeah, right? And so they could bring in oh, all the, the combo moves. moves. All the stuff that's released since then, some of the dope costumes. And then you can tie in like the movie costumes as well. Yep. Dude, it's all about those combo moves, man. Iron Man shooting his little blast the, uh, yeah, at the, 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 Captain America's shield. The oh, synergy yeah, attacks. the synergy attacks. So yeah. fucking So bad. badass. After the rapper, I would take a remake of that. Oh, oh God! No, Rappa? no, Remake hell no! New, I would, I kick, would kick, punch. Literally, I would <laughs> donate 
a testicle for a new prep of the wrap-up. Yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I haven't touched uh, it so long. There's so many franchises that are dead now, like Twisted Metal. Where is that? Like, there's so many good places. It's because well, when, they, well, tried they, tried to, to bring when they tried to bring it back, they made it, and it was garbage. It was so complete like, garbage. <gasps> the King of Clubs! Yeah, that's right. I got that. Sh- that sh- throw that shit, because it was shit. That was his card. Yeah, that was my <laughs> card, man. Not anymore. It's not. It's the floor's Fuck. card now for the rest See of the day. See how he treats cards? And he's a magic player. I don't. I don't do that with my magic cards. You better believe it. Yeah, but Those, I will. Well, that was a magic card. <laughs> that was a, not a, not a Magic the Gathering card. I didn't gather around that shit. That shit was crap. <laughs> Shit's crap. That's just like your opinion, man. My, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always channel the dude. Always channel. Say, did the you just dude, dude me? Is yeah, that, just dude. You just dude you. <laughs> Well, as far as Ultimate Alliance goes, you can pick up both the games starting tomorrow. They're forty bucks a piece, or you can get them in a combo for sixty. So I'm good. Well, Peter, mm-hmm. you you're like any good game that's a remaster can eat a dick, and I'm like that's not the way it should be. Or I can keep playing Lego Star Wars, which is fucking fantastic. I bought Factorio. When are we gonna play? Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't know you bought it. Whenever the fuck you, so want. you want. Okay, we should do it. Stream that straight up. Yeah. Whenever you want. Cool. We'll fight some Whenever. aliens. Oh yeah, I'm excited for that. Can like you do some three player? You can do like eight player. Yes. Oh shit, son. Yeah. Your computer probably could run too. Fuck yeah, dude. It's super. No it's offense it's, to your computer. It's super fucking. No, 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 no. No offense taken. My computer's a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I probably could run it. And you're playing Lego on the Vita, correct? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Where else would I play it? The new one, right? Force Awakens. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. There's I some, uh, like glitchy fucking trophies on there, like no trophies but collectibles. Some of them are like, because I have like the you can get the red bricks, which are, like cheats. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you activate them, you can sell your trophies. But one of them like tells you where all the collectibles are. And I'm in some worlds and says I haven't got them all and there's no fucking markers. Huh. So and Weird. There's like Damn those developers have to get the red brick in that world. Come on, Telltale Games. But everything except like one like mini kit in that world. Like in the what's the the base world? Jaku. Oh, uh, the Star Killer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in that world and since I'm missing a mini kit and I can't fucking find it. And the internet is useless, so I'm a little frustrated, uh, but I'm still working through it. I, I just I just started playing uh, Severed. You played it today? I, I played it. Finally. I, How I, was it? Dude, it's so fucking good. Yeah? It's so much fun. Cool. How yeah. far did you get? Uh, probably like an hour or two in. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and I it's like... It's like simple to start, and you're like, this is kind of gay, and then you're like, oh, this mechanic, and this mechanic, and you're like, ah. Oh. The big one that got me is when Can you start... Can we get that one more time? Nice. The big one that got me is when your battles start to have, and it happens really quick, but when there's more than one enemy in the battle, and so you're having to like watch the gauge, like when are they about to attack? When's this about to happen? I don't know. Six. What? No, somebody's shuffling their feet. It's his flippy flappy. (laughs) Flippy floppies. We're rapping with the flippy poppies. Yeah, I don't know if you guys. Whiskey here says uh, he heard they may reboot uh, Demon Souls, but Dark Souls is done. Um, I. I can see that. Yeah, I can I see know, that happening. I just didn't care for the game myself personally. So I don't know because I've heard the same thing uh, about the From Software because From Software is working on a lot of games right now. It's yeah, like they and I really are for Armored Core uh, a lot. I'd like, be down for another Armored, Armored Core. Core for sure. but uh, if they did do a Demon Souls, I don't know if they would remake the first Demon Souls since the first Demon Souls was essentially like the beta to Dark Souls. It was like them producing a mechanic and an idea and throwing it out there and it, was, it wasn't it was as successful as Dark Souls was. Dark Souls was a little bit more access- oh, accessible. Yeah. Way if more. they did do Demon's Souls, they would do it like a reboot of the series and make a whole nother segment in that world, but yeah. it would literally just be Dark Souls. Because so. Demon's Souls was, I mean, it had a really like strong cult following, mm-hmm. but it wasn't like a, a huge good. success. It wasn't Dark Souls. Right? Yeah, yeah, it just it, it just wasn't as or mainstream. Good. You could follow yeah. Demon Souls and Theater say Dark Souls One, and then Dark Souls Two to Dark Souls Three. You could watch, and even you know Bloodborne is adjacent to that. Yeah, you can watch how they perfected their art all the way up. To oh yeah, because right. Bloodborne was a fucking masterpiece. It was good. Period. It's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Where are we at next? Um, okay, some more news from San Diego Comic Con, but this is actually about video games. So Injustice Two got two new characters added to it. And who so are they? We're gonna have Wonder Woman and Blue Beetle. I'm personally really excited for Blue Beetle. I yeah. think he's going to be badass. But he's Wonder Woman was in the first Injustice too. These are confirmed for the new one. Oh, for the new. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so they okay. they haven't even confirmed that everybody from the first game is going to come over. So I think right now it's uh, here. I wrote it down. Who do we have? Um. Okay. So it's Batman, Superman, Supergirl, Aquaman, and Gorilla Grood are all okay. confirmed for this new one. What was that? Oh, I'm agreeing with uh, Raven Rave nice. Sandwich. Yeah. So. I'm really excited for Blue Beetle. He was not in the first one, and he's really cool. He's kind of this is gonna sound okay. Bear with me, you guys. Please don't destroy he's me. He's a symbiotic internet. relationship with an insect that lives on his back. Yeah, 
I was going to say he's kind of the Batman, though. Mm. I don't DC. know that I'm familiar. Because he doesn't really have powers. I think he's more like the Spider-Man. No. Wait, is she the guy know. that was in a, 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 that would appear on the cartoon uh, uh, Brave and the Bold occasionally? Maybe. He was on the newest Teen t- Titans versus yeah. the Justice League. Yeah, was he? Okay, because yeah. I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the character. Either he's He looks like if Iron Man was all blue. But Did you ever watch Beetleborgs? Yeah, back hell yes. He kind of looked he like, like a blue, blue beetleborg. Gotcha. With the yeah, that yeah. Got gotcha. Cool yeah, it was a little, little. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. Like, way to like throw back to like the nineties right. for sure. Beetleborg. Big I had a beetleborg, beetleborg voice changer mask. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Peter's like, I don't know what a beetleborg is. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yes. whoa! Every time. The Beetleborgs were uh, basically like <laughs> insect Power Rangers. Yeah, they were, like, yeah. <laughs> they were if horrible. You, if you don't know what a Beetleborg is, go look it up. <laughs> or don't no. like, save yourself the trouble. Save yourself the trouble. You know, you need to don't do, do it. it. It's, like, it's like when we talk about street sharks. It's like you got to at least go back. Uh, okay, and well look. the street sharks were they're amazing. Fucking, they're fucking Jossum. Yeah, they were Jossum. Jossum. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah! Very cool. So I don't know. I'm excited for Blue Beetle to be in there. Yeah. I think he's gonna be a badass. He uses a lot of gadgets and technology and stuff like that. So right on. The first, the first Blue Beetle was actually not even a DC comic. He, the the whole story behind him was just absolutely absurd. It was like he got some like random artifact or something which made him super powerful, and then they like changed the story and they were like, no, he found some rare crazy scarab beetle who attached himself to his back and then by the time dc got him they were like all right you guys let's make this make some sense it's a fucking suit it's a suit he (laughs) built he doesn't have any superpowers he he just didn't his like dad build it though i think yeah yeah exactly dad built it yeah and then he so yeah when dc takes it over he's actually the son of the original blue beetle he takes over the suit and becomes Blue blue beetle so uh i'm i'm really into that i like when superheroes aren't necessarily super because to me it feels like it can happen in our world you know exactly yeah so it's like Batman, Iron Man, those kinds of people are really cool. I, I gotcha. know. If there were bugs that fucking big in our world, I would have ended it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> ended the world? No, myself. Okay. I was fuck like, that. dude, I'm whoa. not going to live in a world Brutal. with giant bugs. Bugs, bugs bigger Brutal. than me. Man, and fuck that, dude. You could tame a, a, a tarantula or some shit and have it as your mount. And then when that tarantula decides that you're delicious? No, because you tame it first. Beastmaster. You guys are talking eight, about Have you ever seen eight legged freaks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be eight legged freaks. <laughs> they fucked that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to get back on track, you guys. Psionics so, game Rocket League has hit 19 million players. That is not surprising and because I it's such am a good game. One of them. Right? I think, I think we all. Yeah, game. we're all one of them. I yeah. just started a game. And oh, you just started? Nice. Yeah, about a month ago. Oh, okay, cool. And that game is. I love it. Oh my god! It's they so say good. they clock about one million players a day. Yeah. In that Best game. player so. I've ever seen at that game so far, David Escobar. Yeah, he's fucking good. He's really he is good. retarded yeah. good at that game. He is. A lot of the pigs uh, from our community are actually really good. Yes, hey they Taylor, are. thanks for hanging out with us. But no, I think I think it's really cool. I we talk a lot about indie games here and stuff Hi, like honey. that. But um, to see. To see like an indie game become so popular and become so big. It's too bad most people downloaded it for free. It's a whole lot of people downloaded it for free. Only on PlayStation. Because they did say PlayStation is still the number one console it's played on. And they said that is largely in part to PS Plus. The PS Plus yeah. game for free. Makes they, sense. they did say, I think, at least 7 million copies of it have been actually sold. That's, well, that's still, still pretty good. That's yeah. Still fucking good. That yeah. still says like it's nine, what, $14.99, right? I think it's a normal price. It's like fifty yeah. bucks. I think it yeah. Sell a lot too. that's yeah. still that's still great for that. that still though. does mean there's like nine yeah, million. They sell copies so many copies. There. They don't it's have to like, make fifteen bucks. I think Shovel Knight's done like one yeah. half million across all platforms. Yeah, that's and that pretty game good too. is a gem and like yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, I played so. Shovel Knight. Go away. I think it's because Rocket League is just deceptively simple. It, it's super. It simple. is. It, once you it, it does. There's a small and I do mean small learning curve. But once you figure out like the double jump and you can spin while you're flying and or jump in the air, all that stuff, the game becomes a cinch. Yeah. It's the, easy the to mas- pick up, hard to master. Yeah, the mastery is difficult. Yeah. Like yes, trying correct. To master literally rocketing yourself yeah, through the like air to I lead a ball. There waiting for the ball to come down. Escobar is like, and yeah, and that's, yeah, he's, he's in the fucking air. That's what I'm saying. Every yeah, time. I was, uh, I was streaming when someone taught me how to do that. I think it might have, it might have been, it was someone. I can't remember who it was, but they, they coached me through it, and I learned how to do it, and I made a goal off of it, and it was great, and I can never fucking do it again. So. Yep. Yeah, but, but you did it once. I tried. Yeah. Yes, you did. I just I enjoy seeing like indie games become super successful. Like, yes. When Shovel Knight did it alone, I was like blown away, uh, especially because they started putting their games in stores. And doing yeah, but like na- and now we're seeing so much more. It's it's becoming a lot more like reasonable 
Because indie game, an indie title is no longer a taboo thing to have on your no. game like it was t- five years ago. And tomorrow is the indie title that I have been waiting for for so long. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we happy few releases on the nice. Xbox One and PC. Very Do you cool. hear that? <laughs> it's you know, sound of victory. You know what game I'm picking up tomorrow? It's actually also an indie What's game. What's that? Hyperlight Drifter. That's right, PS4. Oh, yeah. PS4 yeah, that's launch. right. It's tomorrow yeah. for yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to pick that up on PC. Isn't, uh, isn't Zach really excited about that one, too? He is I as believe well, yeah. Zach yeah. might be doing that on his late night stream. Late nights with Zach, so. so I will be playing on Wednesday instead of doing my normal multiplayer stuff on Wednesday. I will be doing We Happy Few as a hooray, nice type thing. celebration so. that it launched. Yeah. So. so if you want to see what that game looks like in all of its early access glory, which is already looking pretty damn good, I don't know, man. I was thinking about doing a special stream. Uh, if you want to do start on Tuesday, but I don't know. Who's we'll talk. Here. Brandon we'll talk. streams on Tuesday, yo's. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll we can talk. Do some and he's siege. probably gonna be streaming. Hyperlight Drifter. That's right. That's cool. Because that shit launches. Tonight. I'm talking about yeah. morning, yeah. afternoon. Shit, so. Way way ahead of time. You do what you you do what you need, sir. That's right. You do what you you do you. You I'll do, do you, boo boo. You do. Yeah, you. what's up, girl? They did say uh, Psionic did say that they have currently built the game now to be ready for cross platform play within a few hours. So with good it, as soon as they got the thumb, if as soon as they do eventually get the thumbs up, if it ever does happen, they said within a couple hours they can basically go in there, do what they need to, and it'll be ready for cross platform. I will play. tell you that people who yep. play with controller that game will scrub up on fucking keyboard players because the difference in being able to control your wheel slightly to pressing a button and instantly going in a direction is fucking paramount in that game. Oh yes, yeah. absolutely. So playing with keyboard can be pretty difficult. I know there's a way to set up with mouse, but that's not fun. Because yeah, so. I'll it's tell like, you what. Uh, I, if we get this cross platform, uh, like a f- finally, officially across everything, it'll be such a grand opener. It's not gonna happen. I don't. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm still hopeful, man. I'm yeah. still hopeful. I'm like gamers be gamers, bro. No, I'm. I'm one of the offshoots that I don't want it to. Because I know you don't. I, okay, gamers without borders. I okay. <laughs> yes. I yes. like. I like the whole like console wars when it doesn't get outrageous. I think it pushes these. Yeah, it it pushes the. Bad. It pushes the companies though to make better consoles. Why yeah. are we getting the Scorpio? Because the PlayStation is more powerful than the Xbox. So Microsoft was like, "Fuck this, we're gonna make more I don't powerful." Think it's a matter one. of principle. I think they just want more. Cash. We're gonna tear hey, seven teraflops, <laughs> buddy. We're gonna teraflops our <laughs> nuts on fucking <laughs> PlayStation. If, if it didn't, if it didn't need to, if like. They, if yep. everything just played on everything together, they wouldn't even fi- worry about a new. I console. know, but I would just you, you know out. the occasional game would be really nice. No, that's all I'm saying. You can do it if you play PS4 and PC. Already. Yeah, I know. I know. War Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Final yeah. Fantasy. Yeah. Or, Except or anything now on Xbox and PC. Do you Correct. Think is Neverwinter well, any, not everything? Any of the not first part? Yeah. It's yeah. true. Not Does yet. anyone here know if Neverwinter is cross? Uh, it is not so. cross. Uh, however, it is now on the PS4. I know. Yeah. I started playing it yesterday. Okay. Cool. I don't think so. On the so. PS4. Yep. Zach, right. if you're listening, I got it. Our last bit of news, you guys. It's actually going to cycle back to Nintendo. Oh, because uh, we, we've talked back. We didn't start with them. How are well, we okay. cycling back well, if every, we didn't start with so them? So the last like three podcasts we've talked Pokemon Go. <laughs> so this true. is actually about Pokemon Go. Okay. So Nintendo stocks <laughs> have actually dropped eighteen percent in one day. What? What happened? You know what's so scary about this? Pokemon Go hype. What? These are the people that control the economy, and they didn't fucking realize. This. Okay, so yeah, so the reason it is, it is due to the fact that many investors either ignored or were unaware that Nintendo did not make Pokemon Go. Right. Return. They came out today and said, Look, we didn't make it. We just licensed it. We're not going to see these massive profits like you think. We're still going to see a sliver, but yeah, we're not changing our forecast. Like, we're not going to make a ton more money because of this. Ooh. Yeah, and they just didn't know. Like, I was like, what? You didn't see, make it? Like, yeah. And you know, I knew this. So let me, let me and, I, that. and I put it in there, and I was like, and I was sitting here the whole time. I'm watching it go up. I'm like, what is happening? Yeah. Like, yeah. I see. And I thought I thought they were legitimately getting you know profits coming in from it, even though, of course, we all knew they didn't make it. I'm going to piggyback off of what Peter just said. These are the people controlling yes. our entire financial system, right. and they didn't but know who made the listen, fucking game? Listen to those words. <clears throat> These are also people who do play video games. It's true. I don't give a so. shit if they play video games or not. If you're about to dump millions of dollars into something, you should know what you're dumping well, it into. Initially, it increased by, like, I think, like, $18 billion. I think they wiped... It was, like, okay. 10 or 12% or something. Fourteen billion. Well, they did say the stock is still up. So yeah. the stock is currently at 23,222 yen, or, like, $219. When before Pokemon Go launched, it was only at 14,000 yen, which is about $132. So it still did go up just short of $100. So if you want to lose money, invest in Nintendo. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the stock's safe bet. But it, I mean, for honor. It's yes. just, uh, 
I don't know. It's weird that, like you were saying, that nobody knew that. It's, it, they made yeah. it very it common knowledge. Like, yeah, they made it very yeah. clear that it wasn't their game. To me, I thought the stocks were rising because it. I thought, at least for me, it showed that like Nintendo's willing think, to like, take. Regardless of even if they're not making money, they're adding so much value to the Pokemon brand. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, true. True. When Sun and Moon comes out, people like gonna lose their shit because everyone fucking thinks about Pokemon right now. Like, yep, it does yeah. make a difference. It's still gonna make a huge difference. Making money right now, they've like added so much value to that. Brand. Yeah, but they, even my they're mom playing long term. Yeah, yeah, but even my mother knows. Nintendo didn't make the game. That's all I'm saying. No, I and told her all about it. It's also it's also more <laughs> important too. Like to me, it showed that like Nintendo's willing to like give somebody an IP that they know can do what they want, and they can step away and let a company who has a vision like it's, execute that. It's not Nintendo's fault. It's fucking people are dumb. Exactly. Okay. It's just Agreed. Weird. Agreed. But it's just weird to see like it had spiked so hard and then dropped down again so big. So. I'm just glad that something. I'm just glad that something that has now been a positive and then gone a little bit negative was not their fault. Oh no, hundred percent. I'm definitely yeah. happy to see that for, for once. once. It was for once. <laughs> and they was haven't still, done something stupid. It was still a really smart move by Nintendo. It has still ultimately helped their stock price. Of course. Yeah. So it's still been great. Still millions of people are playing. I think they were saying the figure they broke off was I think thirty percent of the money goes to um Google from the in game purchases. Mm. The rest goes to Niantic, and then I think Nintendo takes like a small sliver. I think it's like ten percent or something. Okay, like that. their so biggest thing is going to be on like the little bracelets and shit. Yeah, exactly. And, and that then, launches at the end of the month yeah. in just a few days. The, so. che- the cheater they're watches all sold out, aren't they? they yeah, yeah, they, they sold are out sold out on Amazon, GameStop, pretty much everywhere. They're the fucking cheater watches, out. Nintendo. Yeah, cheater, cheater watches. watches. They're no. cheater watches. You just walk around and it catches a Pokemon for you. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Well, you have to like you have to push the button. You have to push the oh. button. and then there's still a, a success fail rate on it too. It oh, doesn't I've always that I didn't know. Yeah, it so doesn't you'll have always more control it. if you like whip out your phone and do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, it, 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 what I like about it though is it won't have people walking around like this because now you can have it on and be yeah. like, and you can have it. In your people phone who pocket. like it's still dumb. You, like, people who are like at work, they made a way not to play the game. Well, I already <laughs> made a way not to play it. It's called Pokey Vision. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, okay, so like a lot of people are like <laughs> playing at work. You're seeing a lot of these memes of like people at work saying, like, we're not paying you to play Pokemon Go. Your vision. We're not playing you to do this. So like this will allow them to like still feel like they're How do you feel like anything wear that fucking thing? Uh this dude right here. Yeah, no, I'm you, not but... I'm not going to because it's sold out and I didn't reserve one because I have a billion other games to play. Yeah, right but now. would you have even gotten like, it in the first place? Probably. They're going for over hundred bucks right now online. What? Yeah. They were only thirty five when they sold. I would buy one for thirty five. People are already Etsy and like little like oh, yes. fucking wooden oh, cases God, yes. for them and stuff. Mm-hmm. A perfect throw case, so it's like you always get a straight ball, so it never curves. Yep. Like that. Like Me, I'm just gonna animals. learn how to make it on a fucking headband. We'll just have it over here, so it'll look like a little like princess yes. beret. Yes. <laughs> it'll be scrunched. Oh, I thought you were gonna do like a freaking like a uh, scanner from DBZ. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. Do a scouter. Yeah. And have it for Pokemon Go, and I like you know pop it up and yep. have it. Oh, now, just uh, what you do is you need to make a rope, tie it in a particular kind of knot, and uh, sell it, and tell them that if they attach it to themselves and jump off of something high, their eggs will hatch even faster. People would do it. You're such a savage. Such a savage. <laughs> These people play their games. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's, they want. That is the news of the week. Good news. Now it's time, you guys. For what? For something serious. Serious, 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 serious. All right, you guys. I want to know, and this kind of goes off of Pokemon Go. No Pokemon. I'm rhyming over here, and I didn't even know it. Okay. How do you feel about a franchise you've loved for a long time now being considered mainstream? Mm. Um, um, go for it throw it out there I personally despise it uh, I, actually, I go through this a lot with uh, the music of the bands I listen to Okay, um, like I started listening to System of a Down uh, for yeah. like their first album when like even before they had albums and stuff like that because I, you know, I lived in California Steal this stuff. album, and then they got fucking massive and then everyone's like System of a Down you hear that song I'm like of course I did of course I heard So that. if I'm understanding you correctly, uh, Josh, you're a fucking hipster. No, I'm not a fucking hipster. I'm he not was a, guy, I won't he ever was a go hipster before it was cool? I won't okay. ever go out there and say I like this shit before I was cool. <laughs> I, I, I like to let people know. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I've been listening to that band for a while. It's pretty cool. You should hear some of their older stuff. But when it comes to like video games, you know, I hate it because it's like, you know, I get real good at this game and no one fucking plays it. And then all of a sudden, millions of me people start playing it. I'm no longer good. I'm no longer at it. And then everyone's talking fucking mad shit about it. Or Pokemon, for example. Everyone's talking about the fuck. How, how many people I play Pokemon Go with? They're like looking at the fucking like uh, the silhouette and they're like, what Pokemon is this? I'm like, too often. Oh my fucking God, it's Gengar, obviously. No one else has that (laughs) shit. It's Pikachu. (laughs) What what kind of, what is Gengar? Clefairy. Fuck. You know, like fucking, 
<laughs> you know, and that shit drives me nuts. And I'm like, but, but like at the same time, I'm like, I'm super glad for the company. I'm super glad for my IPs that I like yep. because they're getting all this, all this like, good stuff out there. Yep. And like, as much as I hate it, as much makes me fucking cringe. I know it's a good thing. Yep. And I have to, I have to like bite it back down and I have to like, feel it and like See, and, and let it lie I, I'm the exact same way too because like we'll use Pokemon Go as a reference so obviously I've been playing Pokemon like my entire goddamn life since it like first came out I have one tattooed on my leg absolutely love everything I do with Pokemon and now it's huge and like you said so I'm like going to the park and I'm seeing people they're like what's this rock guy with arms and I'm like ah, it hurts but I like the thought of saying like Hey, this is more money getting poured into the company I like. This is more tension. When the new games come out, it's going to be more. So I like the idea of my franchise getting larger, having more money in it. But then I also have seen what it's done to previous franchises like Call of Duty. When Call of Duty first came out, it wasn't this huge mainstream game. And now it is. They crank them out every year and I don't give a shit about them. Same thing happened with Assassin's Creed. It came out. It was a brilliant idea. Now they crank them out once a year. I don't care about them anymore. They've just hit that point where it seems like once they become mainstream, it's just like, well, let's milk it for money. Once the cookie cutter's built, that's when they start stamping yeah. the dough. Yeah. So it's like every other franchise that has ever done that has become mainstream and then just recycled the old same shit because they but make money off of it. Pokemon did the exact same thing. Yeah. Well, no. No, yeah. literally. Look at, look at no, the literally the same thing. You had, okay, oh, every Pokemon game that's ever launched, though, has had a whole new generation of Pokemon put in. Yes. talk about the mainstream games. I'm right. Like spin off. I'm not saying there's anything. IPs. There's not saying that I'm not. I'm literally not saying there's anything wrong with Pokemon whatsoever. Yeah. But every single Pokemon game, aside from the spinoffs, is literally exactly the same. It, and the, the environment might change a little bit. They might add new Pokemon. So it's a whole you, new map, a whole new doesn't set matter. of Pokemon. It's still the same new exact moves, thing. New abilities. It's still that, the same you exact thing. Every Call of Duty. Yeah. No. It's, it's yes, a, you new did. Map, new moves, yes. new characters. No, it's the same it's guns. The same, same thing. Gu- same guns with different skins on them. Same characters. Same with different Pokemon skins with different skins on them. Skins on yes. them. No, not oh, some of them. Yes. Do something special, like you could switch the no. site to the okay, side. Have candy like I said, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Okay, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it because Pokemon is great. But it's the same thing every single time, and they just change the look. That's completely no, untrue. That's, I don't understand how it can not be untrue. How I many, think you guys are just you being guys, biased. So the you guys first ones <laughs> didn't have EV IV training. They had that mechanic. So uh-huh. every game gets new mechanics. There's the mega True. Evolutions, which so the that's first, brand the new. first Call of Duty didn't have perk system in multiplayer. And now it does. Sure. But... It also didn't have the point system, and now it does. Now it's they added double battles, triple battles, four way battles, different game modes, so different mechanics, domination, search and destroy, different Pokemon. So now, of course, the main cage match is the same, but it's not like. I think Call of Duty is way more cookie cutter than Pokemon. Yeah, they're both cookie cutter. Of course, of course. How many Pokemon release each generation? About a hundred to one hundred and fifty. There's okay, so we're on Gen. The last one that dropped was Gen six, and there's six. There's just short of 700 Pokemon. Okay. A little bit more. I thought it was 720. Yeah, I think it was more than yeah. 700. There you go. So we're looking at that. So we're saying that the first one had like 150, so you're looking at about standard around 100 All new I'm Pokemon. All I'm saying is I'm not, I'm not trying to legitimately compare Pokemon to Call of Duty. No, and neither am I. two different games. But what I'm saying, though, is the Pokemon games is they recycle the idea, they add a little bit extra flavor Correct. into it. Sometimes they change the mechanics, the graphics and stuff, but at the basis it is the same adventure. But isn't that what you always want? Okay, when you right. have an IP, you play, don't you, you want the Call IP of Duty, to always be standard? Yeah, there's when nothing wrong Call with Duty, it. It's a first person shooter. Isn't that what you want? Okay, but when I play Call of Duty from five years ago and I play the newest Call of Duty now, it they feel the fucking same to me. Well, I'm, I'm playing fucking Emerald right now. It, and it feels brilliant. just huh. like fucking X and Y because it's the same shit. Right, no, you are so wrong. You, I, I was, you guys are just so biased. And I, I, I understand <laughs> I where you guys are coming from. You want to defend it so hard. And I understand where you're coming from because it's wrong because you see it from this inside thing. But a person who's a massive Call of Duty fan who knows the inside, the systems, the the the, the, the hit boxes on, on people and all the different mechanics that have changed over the years and perfected from people the inside of the game, the they'll in say the Duty. same they shit. Care about, they care about quick Scoping, quick scoping. <laughs> camping, camping yeah. high kill streaks. See, but look at yeah. you. That's it. And then someone on the other side, all you fucking care about is IV and EV training, and that's it. And the new Pokemon, and learning all their moves, and remembering the new all fucking their... guns, learning their animation styles, Who? and what has the faster reload with the, f- the new accessories. What, no, he's absolutely how to right. Unlock it. You know what's the best way to unlock? What's the best game mode for me to play? What I'm in the best. At? Yep, he is you absolutely know, right. You know, it, it's the same when, shit. When it's was all the last competitive time? Edge. When was the last time you had any of those thoughts about Call of Duty? When I played uh, Black Ops 2, because that was the last one I actually okay. fucking played, so because how, I played in the clan, Black Ops 2, we how, played competitively. How old is Black Ops 2 now? I don't fucking know. It was so, 13. 13. So you haven't given a shit about it in the last three years? 
Well, no, because I don't. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not a college Wait, hold fan. on. You so the, are attacking me now. As so a, the I'm basis of your fan. argument now is yep. because you're still fans of Pokemon, it's different. It's different. That's exactly what they're just That's better. exactly what you just said. It's better, yes. It, uh, we weren't comparing what was better, and my first thing I said was, not knocking Pokemon, because it's awesome, if but it's, it's the same thing every time. You attack my Pokemon you know why? Oh, no, okay. No, but you know why it is, though? <laughs> it's because Pokemon fucking sells. Call of Duty fucking sells. Yep. They're yep. not going to change something so drastically it won't sell. They can't okay. do that because they got to look at all the spin offs. Pokemon, Pokemon is a Pokemon game, so you still have to yeah. catch Pokemon. That's so there's the still, there still has to be the Call of Duty, you still got to kill people. No, no, no. Sure. And I get that. And so nobody's, <laughs> nobody's knocking Call of Duty because it's always a fast first person shooter. I'm just using it as an example never, because you trashed on it. I'm get, Okay. And I'm, but, I'm, I'm throwing the words you said back but, in your face okay. about something you love. And the I problem, understand I'm attacking The you. problem with Call of <laughs> Duty is, though, okay, so you either go to the past and you only use guns that are real. So you only use guns that actually existed. So there's only so many of those you can ever recycle. There's a lot of them. No, well, there's a lot of them that there's like, never existed. There's like millions. That are you have the, a fucking sniper rifle that reloads its own bolt. That shit's nuts. That shit's bananas. I want one. It's not, real. It's, it's, like, it's not real. It's not real. That's just not real. Exist. Okay, but you get what I'm saying. So the, either way, they have to fit into like, okay, you have your snipers, your assault rifles. So there's like only a core group of guns. You, to me, you're, okay. having a, you're, you're, you're having a very objective view on it. You, you know, you from somebody broad. from someone who doesn't play first. From somebody outside, outside, broad view. I see your objective. From somebody outside of the game, there's a, and each gun is a little bit different. Weapon they have a class. Bit, yeah, Weapon exactly. Class. They have a little bit different mechanics, but there's a core group of weapons. And every one I pick up, so every sniper I pick up, for the most part, feels pretty much the same to me. Yeah, it might have a different zoom. It might hold a different amount of bullets. But now, it's just a sniper. It feels the same. To, to counter me. your point, okay. somebody who doesn't play Pokemon, mm -hmm. they do the same thing in Pokemon. They pick up an electric-type Pokemon. They expect electric-type moves. Okay. Okay. And at the core basis, they're fighting other Pokemon. How many different types of Pokemon are there? I don't know. There's like uh, seven or eight, right? There's water, I'm, no, I'm, fire, I'm me, I don't play. I I imagine like, I don't play Pokemon. To yeah. me, they're all fucking Pikachus. I don't, I don't fucking <laughs> okay. know. Did you name we'll them see, all Pikachus? Okay. All right. Pistols, <laughs> shotguns, okay. SMGs, assault rifles, so semi-automatic so rifles, sniper rifles, light machine guns, and rocket you launchers, crazy grenade launchers. You get fucking laser in, guns. You get fucking... In Call of Duty, and I, this is a genuine question. I'm actually Trying to okay. in Call of Duty, is there more than seven hundred and twenty guns? At no. this point, probably in, in not. any one in any one but, Call of Duty. But there's not that there's not that in any one there Pokemon game. Yes, there is. Guns. No, there's not. There is yeah. not one Pokemon game that has all those Pokemon in it. Yes, Ruby and Sapphire. Or they have one. all seven hundred something Pokemon they're, in the single they're game. All they they they're no, no, all no. obtainable. I'm, that's not what. I, no, 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 no. Well, okay, so are, are they in the core game? Without getting transfers from your Poke Bank from previous games, you guys are getting lost in like the. Like, You're specifics. getting less lost in the specifics of it, but what I'm saying is, on the outside view, for two, say, say, I'm a, someone on the outside. I've never seen Pokemon before. Okay, okay but like the, all the Pokemon games look the same. Uh, why do I want to play them? You do the same thing in Call of Duty. Well, all I'm saying is because but these I've have gotten the famous. Yeah, and these because people I think find the scope, their niche in those the scope games. is different though because. Pokemon every time you're in a different fucking country, different land altogether. Like same thing with Call of Duty. No, it's always the same regular size maps. I never do massive maps. Where's vehicles? Where's destructible environments? Okay, so many Battlefield. Directions you could go. Battlefield okay. does change it up. Call but that's Duty, why I didn't bring Battlefield. That's why I didn't compare it to Battlefield. Tight maps, and it's always it's the same. Quick thing. Shots. It's like Pokemon. Uh, you have five fucking buildings in a city. Sometimes the buildings are big. You can't fucking go into them. It's just one road. It's two routes. There's Sometimes the roads broken up there's by water. Caves, there's islands. There's, there's a there's a natural progression of the way you're supposed to go through all these. Dude, you can't the just jump ones, out and jump in the water and In the newest go. ones, there's full cities yeah. and you can walk into like That's almost the newest every one. building. Okay, it, it's advanced itself. In the yep. newest Call of Duty, you have a fucking ship you get to fly around space. Okay, that one's not out yet. We can't use yeah. that because then we just... Yours is not out yet too! <laughs> <laughs> no, in the, last, X and y? in the last Pokemon okay, game, there was an entire city. Yeah. And you can That'd fly be... different islands. <laughs> Alright, cool. so when my favorite games... Which is... I will use my perfect example. Mass Effect is my favorite game of all time. I was ecstatic when it went mainstream because I knew that the more money that poured into it, the better the games were going to be for me. I'm a humongous fan of Mass Effect. It's my favorite game of all time. I consider all three one game. And I was very happy for it because when I played Mass Effect number one, no one knew what the fuck it was. It, 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 it didn't exactly fly under the radar, but it was also really chill because it was only on Xbox 360. It came out... Um, 
in 2007, I believe it was, and it was phenomenal. I had been tracking it for a long time. It was one of those trailers that I watched over and over and yep. over and over I again. I dissected it. Yes, yeah. that's exactly what I did. And had I been recording shit back then, I'd have done the best trailer breakdown ever. But that said, I was really happy when it got mainstream. I'm actually Very. really excited for that too because they've done a good job. Like even though that game has gotten mainstream, it's gained a lot of popularity. They've got, done a good job staying very true to what the game was. Absolutely. Which worried me because Dragon Age went a totally different route. The first one was phenomenal. They decided to make some changes, and that game by the end of it is just not even what the original Dragon Age was. Well, Inquisition, they they kind of got back to that a bit. Um, two, a lot of people give two some shit, and I know there's some parts about it that were not good, especially the rehashed maps bad so, every cave looked exactly so, the same but i still enjoyed the story in the game and so garrett and the I've, hawk i've enjoyed all the dragon ages i was mm -hmm. a fan of two when it came out i thought it was Maybe really too. easy to pick up but as far as like keeping the ip at its core they didn't do that they were like no no here's dragon age one here's dragon age two Here's in, it's just like they were just all over the place correct. with it. So the games were maybe enjoyable, but it's like, like they constantly tried to reinvent themselves. Correct. That's exactly what they did. And the only thing that really stayed the same was the story of Thetis. Yeah. That's the only thing but, that really stayed the same. No, this kind of all circles around now. Dragon yeah. Age Inquisition was not as successful as any of the other ones. A lot of people Does, bought it. No, I don't. I don't think I don't that's think it wasn't accurate. The most successful one one is the most popular, hands well, down. I'm talking about, but I think three was pretty pretty close to that. It, it had all that build up and hype and then people played it and kind of put it down. Yeah. And I'm talking about success and like the long okay. term people raving about it. Not a lot of people do compared to Dragon Age 1 and 2. Dragon Age 1 specifically because people love that game. The game now, is so good. What it, come, what it boils down to is now the games that we were talking about, Pokemon and Call of Duty, mm -hmm. which I will say to everyone over there is I'm not defending Call of Duty. I'm not a huge Call of Duty fan. You like, should though. You should defend it because but, obviously but because like, no, one, no one else will. Yeah, and no, that's exactly. why I do it because exactly. I don't think you we do. should hate games. Because, you do it often. You know, because no one should hate games for what they are. To be fair with those both those games, by the time we all jumped on them, they're already mainstream. Like, exactly, was mainstream from day one. It was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, 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 correct. It never had it never had an under the bridge. Correct. Like, after Call of Duty two, it was like yeah, yeah after yeah. after two like, exactly. Huge, you yeah, know, correct. and I think Modern Warfare put it on the map. You know, so neither one, none but of us, yeah, ever got into them when they were. Small. What it is though is those two games that we were arguing about have always stuck to the same formula, and it may change minutely all the way up until it gets this grand, better and better game. And yep. It's the same thing with Call of Duty, it's better and better and better. Yep. You know, and a lot of people see the new better and the newest one. You know, a lot, a lot of see, people see the better in Sun and Moon, and it, it goes to say that the both can be. You know, you have your differences, but what it boils down to is the reason they're successful is because they're continuing to go after what people want yep. and what sells. Yep. Dragon Age didn't do the same thing and it was not as successful or will never be as successful as those two games. That's, well, that's why because when you keep that core mechanic and people enjoyed the last one that invites them to come back to the new one because they know what they're expecting. So let's say Call of Duty. Everybody, every time a new Call of Duty gets announced, they trash the shit out of it. They wait mm -hmm. till it comes out and they buy it. Right. All the time. That's why that game keeps getting bigger and bigger. It keeps selling more and more copies. But Activision loves that people talk trash about it. Yeah. It keeps them in the news. Yeah. Like, and so... Bad press is good press. Yeah, you know? Exactly. I thinking about it. So that's what I'm saying. So like, as, as much as, you know, like... So I don't buy Call of Duty. I haven't bought a Call of Duty game in years. I just don't enjoy them. They're not my niche. A lot of it's because I suck at it. I'm going to be honest with you, you know, but the core mechanic is always there. I can pick up a new one and it's still like, I can no, still I get into it. I can still feel what it feels like, mm -hmm. you know, but that's, that's why it keeps getting bigger. It's when you keep that core mechanic. Yeah. And I, <sighs> sorry about the cut there, but the people watching the recording, it just yeah. cut out. So we're back. You didn't miss anything. People watching the stream, you didn't miss anything. Yeah, didn't miss one. Yeah, so if you had joined us for the stream, people watching the video, Krogan's rule. All of it. Krogan's rule. You wouldn't have missed anything. You didn't miss anything. I've got well, the quads. We, we, we were discussing indie games that have made it mainstream. Shepard's got time. quads. We're never Shepherd's running out of time. Shepard's got the biggest quads chatting, I've ever so. seen. You gotta think, we lost like 15 minutes in the beginning. Shepard is my battle master. I will say that uh, Commander Shepard did say that this is his favorite podcast on the Citadel. Set set did he? Uh, spicy Pink Taco. We're just talking about um, our main topic is when our games that we love, smaller type games, become big, how do we feel about it? Yeah, so I was saying, so like some big indie games that have made it bigger. Um, Super Meat Boy was one that had a lot of a lot of press on it. Obviously, Rocket League was one we were just discussing. Has made it really big. Shovel Knight, I would even say, definitely kind of gets added to that because I don't know if it really went mainstream. Cool. Yeah, it's still pretty yeah. small. I don't. The fact, okay, the it's fact great. That, it's great. The fact but, that when I walk into a store, I see it on the shelf. That to me is like they've made it. 
Okay, that's fair. Especially that's fair. considering they made it themselves. They made the amiibo themselves. They did all that out of their own pocket. And there's an like, amiibo. There's an amiibo for it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know yeah. that. Okay. Well, that's didn't. fair. Right yeah. There. Where? Right there. Oh, shut and up. And Nintendo didn't make it. Yacht Club Games did. Bam. So yeah, that's that's all their own stuff. So to me, that stuff is like indie games are making it big. They're getting out there and they're gaining the success. And they are definitely the gems. It's not um, talk her name, and you guys didn't capitalize on it. You know, I actually did see it. And I stared him right in the yeah, face. No, I'm not going to so, do it. Spicy, spicy pink taco. No, 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 no. We are not inappropriate. We are adults. We are not going to talk about no. how a pink taco is no, synonymous. We're not, talk about, we're not talking <laughs> about vaginas. It's because earlier, <laughs> earlier we were discussing. I know the taco names. How yes, everybody yes. We're talking about taco. gamer yes. tags, <laughs> and we realized that as gamers, that we may not be the most creative bunch, and we said that. Most gamer tags fall into the XX triple four twenty no scope smoke weed every day, got them or the taco category. Smoke weed every day. Oh, thank so. you for the follow, spicy pink taco. Oh, thank you. Spicy pink taco. I appreciate really that awesome. taco. He also can drink like a champ. Yeah. By the way, who is spicy pink taco? I don't remember his name. I, e- call him, e- I call him Pink Taco. Yeah. Oh, you met him E3? Okay, yeah. cool. He drinks like a champ. That's uh, that's all. That's what's important. Yeah. So half the time we hung Fat out. Fat Island we Gaming, already, we talk about the real issues. We were already really drunk by that time. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to jump to my favorite portion of the show. Because which it is the is best portion. Our developer shout out. Developer shout out. We appreciate your hard work. James. Hello, everybody. My name is James. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So developer shout out this week. Um, I have been, I guess you could say, reintroduced to a a game again that I love, 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 love. And I got away from it for a little bit while. And now I'm playing it again. And I had forgotten just how fucking fantastic it is. I'm talking about Dying Light. I'm back into it again and playing the shit out of it. Yeah. And I streamed it the other night. Great stream. Real fun. Um, So today's developer shout out goes to Bartos Kulan. Yeah, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Probably uh, he not. was the probably not, but I'm trying. <laughs> that's your name now. Yeah, that's your name now. Uh, we're uh, he's a lead programmer for Dying Light. Uh, he did additional programming for Call of Juarez Gunslinger, which is a phenomenal game. Uh, it was an arcade download on the 360 originally. It's now backwards compatible for the Xbox One, and it's really fucking good. Uh, Dead Island Riptide, uh, which is also really good. Call of Juarez, the Cartel. Didn't really care for that very much. And he was the lead programmer for the original Dead Island game, which is arguably the better of the two Dead Island games, which most people think, uh, which is what most people think, because who do? You voodoo, bitch. I personally was not a huge fan of them, but Dying Light was freaking phenomenal. Well, you know the big difference between Dead Island and Dying Light is? Because it was both made by Techland. Yeah, yeah. The big difference is Deep Silver Studios versus Warner Brothers Studios. The fact is they they finally had the backing. The fact is they had the consoles to... To make the game they wanted, they even said that like, too. beforehand that too. Just, they they kept hitting walls trying to do it. You know, they they're mm-hmm. trying to make so much happening at one time. They're trying to make this like you know interactive world, and it was just they were hitting walls. The boss fight still sucked. And what the huh? boss fight still sucked. Yeah, they're pretty hard. Just just like the no, last, no, just the, the last the boss light. fight. I finished it. No, I've not finished it. The last the boss, boss fight is like just bad. like a quick time event. I want to. Okay, uh, I want to do a dying light co-op run through with someone because I've never played. Yes, it. Oh, I am 100 so percent down we with can that. Run. I'm pretty sure it's what four players. Four it is four players. We will stream the shit out of it. Um, no, no. When I say co-op, is it like open world where I can like fuck off and get lost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like I can either go into your world or you can come into my world. So. I'm Peter right in, Peter yeah. and I, we ran, I think it was three of us. I don't know if we ever got up to four. That was a great but video. <laughs> it was so much fun, though, because we'd like, and it it feels almost like you're watching a zombie movie because you're like run up to like an ambulance and like you're trying to crack into the ambulance because you know there's going to be like money and all kinds of shit in it. So you're like, all right, somebody watch my back while I'm like hacking into this ambulance. And all of a sudden, like the alarm goes off on the ambulance. So then all of a sudden, waves and waves of zombies. Oh, yeah. So everybody else is like fucking pulling out their weapons to like fight off the zombies. Too many of them come. So you start pulling or, out your gun and you're shooting them. He's like, oh God, I fucking got it open. Everyone turns around grabs a shit and just runs. See that sounds like a nice group of gamers. So fun. How my friends would be is the alarm would go off and they'd fucking ditch me. No, <laughs> I'd turn around and no one would be there. I'm like, guys, no, we'd be where'd like, you go? If they got to that point, we'd yell because we we got to operate as a team. Yep. Because co-op that's the only way co-op. we're going to survive the zombie apocalypse. From, and from what I understand, the more players you have at co-op, uh, the more zombies come as well. Yeah, and I think they're more yep. powerful as they're well. More pow- yep, they are more powerful. And you get more right. of the special zombies too. Yep. So and then trying to fight them at night is just fucking ridiculous. Indeed. It's not oh even my like, God. It's running away. It's not fighting. I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, I know, but you always give the... 
good, goodbye to them afterwards. Oh, okay. I, I was like, yeah. I, I don't know if you're trying to no, tell no, no. me to say I just that. To show I was to you like, again. Dude, I'm not checked. I'm not huh? real. Bardock, Colin. Right. So Bartosz Kulon, thank you very much. Shout out in gaming. We love you. Keep up your good work. We, we love you buddy. very much, man. Absolutely. Oh, and one last Fantastic. thing to touch on. Yeah. Their PR camp- campaign was phenomenal. On point. It was so good. On point. You drink a glass of water and send us a picture. I don't and we'll know. give you free shit. I want to say the Dead Island fucking trailer takes the cake of some of the best trailers I've ever seen. Well, Dead Island trailer was amazing. Dead Island 2, so good. So good. Personally, I just like, I like when developers in general take care of their fans, which I feel like. What's that new zombie game that was supposed to be coming out that was like super nice looking? Days Gone? No, it was another first person one. It looked real cool. It almost looked like Dying Light. Dirty 3? There's another Dead Island. Probably yeah, Dead Island 2 is be. coming. I don't think it might have been Dead Island 2. Look, Jack Black's good. voice is in it. Well, that's okay. I we guess. need another Brutal Legend, is what we need. Yes. Oh, fuck. No. Tim Schaefer. No. If you are listening game to was me, terrible. nobody wants another Psychonauts. Trust me. Listen to me. Don't listen to fucking well, them. Well, that's true. Uh, we that's want true. another Brutal Legend. Because I'm a metalhead, and that game was like fucking so good. Zelda for me. So yeah, whatever. Was, that was my Zelda. It so sucked. much fun. The second half, <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want a fucking RTS. I wanted a fucking Zelda with with a fucking guitar. <laughs> with a guitar for, axe. For a sword. Yeah, it was an axe. axe. I know. It's, it's an axe. Yeah. All right, you guys. <laughs> that's the show. Thanks for hanging out with us, watching us be ridiculous, and we will catch you next week, guys. Come good night, guys. Thank Brandon you. Stream tomorrow at eight o'clock. Yes. Don't, yes. Don't tell them what. Don't tell them what to do, Peter. Don't tell them how to run their the life. The schedule will be on the video when it stops. Anyway. You guys should. You guys should come hang out with me tomorrow. It'll That's be a lot of fun. Any questions? I'm probably we go? gonna be playing Hyperlight Drifter. Um, so if let's see, you can ask the game. quickest question really fast. Boom! You get one question. Yeah, next one question, question to go. Ask. Next question gets answered. Whatever you want to know, you got Quickly. ten seconds. Quickly. Well, it's, like it's going to take longer. To yeah, yeah, there's a delay. Oh, man. that's too bad for them. <laughs> they better have been answering questions before I even started my countdown. Because if not, they're out. We'll put it in chat. <laughs> let's I see what it is. It's going to be no one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not his dad. Don't yeah. tell him how to live his life. <laughs> you're not my dad. Question mark. Boom. Question mark. All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the stream. Later.